All right, so this is one of the more risky things that I've purchased ever in my entire life. Uh, this was $750,000. Yeah. <laughs> I love that reaction that I'm getting. It might not be worth that, but we did get an appraisal and the after repair value, which is the house flippers term for how much this is going to end up being worth, the after repair value came to $1 million. This is business. So the appraiser did say that according to the comps, so they looked at the comps on the, on the right side and the left side and on the street, according to the comps, it's worth a million dollars. So got it for 750, that's all in. And that's, I, I technically bought it for 650, but we have a hundred thousand dollars for a rehab. So all in for 750, when it's all said and done, should have a million dollars. So it should have at least a quarter of a million dollars in equity on this bad boy. Staying in one side, potentially probably gonna rent it out on Airbnb. You're allowed to, if this is your owner occupancy, if you're an owner occupant and your boy is going to be an occupant all over it. So let's come in here. The thing that's like the most concerning is all these slopes and stuff in the floor. Now this is a very old house. And because of that, uh, there's just going to be some slopes in the floor, but most of the time it's something that we can maybe fix, but there's still always going to be some sort of sloping. Um, this was purchased by me from an owner who was just kind of very absent-minded. So we didn't get much history on the house and this was on the market. So this is very rare that we buy things off the market, but we did buy this off the market. Side note, it's a great book, by the way. I'm just going through the owner's personal belongings. Actually, very good book, Psychology of Influence. We had to come in really competitively and had to come in really strong with the offer. And we didn't get as much time to do all of our due diligence as we would have. So in the market that we've been in for the last two years, you kind of just have to do a little bit of leap of faith. As long as your comps are good, as long as your ARV is strong, and as long as you can buy it right, you can get a little bit of wiggle room and that's what we have here. So even if we have to go 10% or 20% up or over or down um, in the rehab budget, we should be fine. It's a mess as you can see in here. And we have a washer and dryer here, but also I think a washer and dryer downstairs. But lots of this is just um, additions and you can tell because we have different siding. So they basically just kind of stuck this kitchen on here and we're on the second floor. So we're liable to drop down through, through, the, through the floor at any moment. This is gonna take a lot of work. Luckily we have a huge lot. And when you get things inspected, the inspector will obviously come back with a list of stuff that you can or can't do. Now, what a lot of people do, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it is a really good tactic, is they will take that inspection report and then they'll renegotiate. They'll say, oh, this is bad and this is bad and this is bad. Can you give me a credit or will you fix these things? And that's an opportunity to renegotiate. Now, since this was so competitive and I was more emotionally invested than I should have been, I didn't renegotiate, but this would have been a great opportunity. I could have gotten, I'm sure, another 20 to 30 to even 40 grand off the price, but I didn't because I wanted it. This is quite the quirk of building because since this is an addition and some of this is an addition, there's actually an upstairs stairway that goes down to the outside and back. So we're, we're going to be, we'll, we'll look at that in a second. And I guess this is where you shower, you shower and go to the bathroom and then just open it up right into the hallway and the entrance. Uh, and once again, there's like no fans, no vents. It, it's, you can totally tell that people just like put that up himself. Now this is kind of interesting too. So they stuck on like all these additions that, that make no sense. So this is where they put a closet, but this closet, actually, if you open it up, which you can't, cause there's a shelf here. If you open up, this is technically the porch. So this is the porch to go outside. Like why you would not want a porch and want more closet, I don't know, but they literally just ran flooring over the outside flooring and people have been living here for years, like years and years and years. The downstairs tenants are so nice and they have been here for years too. And prior to that, they had roommates. I'm like, how, it's crazy how people have lived in here. Um, this is the real winner for me that I think. I think this is the coolest place. And since I am going to keep it, this is going to be my area. This is going to be the master bedroom. And you can see it functions pretty well. 
We have these cool doors. We'll probably just keep them. I would love to even like make them a little bigger, but I'm not even sure we can historically. And it just like, I just think it'd be dope to like wake up, have your coffee and just like be able to like come out here and listen to bulldozers, you know? It's nice, it's nice. It's, it's something to be, something to be looked at. So why don't we go and explore the backyard and see what's, uh, see what's going on right there. <laughs> I don't get excited. Where your, where your long sleeve. I feel like I already have poison ivy because of how I parked and had to jump out of here. So let's see if this, okay, there we go. Okay, be careful. And then we come out here and we have animal traps and the animals don't even want to be here right now. So there's not even in the trap. So there's no, nothing, nothing here. And then you can see pretty clearly when you're looking at houses, like the exposure of the foundation. And there's definitely some foundation issues here. They're not as bad as you would think they are. They really aren't. But this is just a great example of like being careless and just letting things like overgrown. This was an addition that you can totally tell that they just slapped on an addition and, and called it a day and barely brought in plumbing to it. But this is a space that could be opened up, something, something can be done. You can also, the big three, like I think I was explaining in the last video is that at the roof, the HVAC and the foundation. And the HVAC system is pretty good on here, which is good because it's a really, really big house. So you really want a nice uh, new HVAC, especially if you're buying something. Um, but if not, you can always get a home warranty on it. And then if it like goes out on you, you can just call the home warranty and get them to fix it. So this could be really dope. This could be um, a really interesting space. And honestly, this will probably be the first thing I do since the tenants are still moving out a little bit and the owner still has his stuff here for a while. I'll probably just have the landscapers come in, clear this down just to make a little bit of progress and just so we can set some shit here when we're working on things and just to kind of have a little bit of space to like to do stuff on here. This would be a good little romance spot, right? Like this is like a little date night spot. You can throw some lights here, throw a little table and like come have some wine on your dates or whatever if you're trying to seal the deal. Just just an idea. Things like overgrown yards and stuff like that. It really is. I'm pretty sure that is poison ivy. Be careful. Um, it really is such an easy way to to make things look really good really quickly um, and to really spruce up really quickly. Like if we just chopped all this down in a day or two, we would have so much space to like walk around and it would always, it just kind of adds to the feeling that you're getting stuff done. And these projects can be so intimidating. They can be so big and so overwhelming that you really kind of need to take small wins. And like, it sounds kind of silly and stupid just to mow the lawn is a big deal, but it really does sometimes like change the whole vibe of your project and what you're doing.